the area of research that we've devoted our careers to mm -hmm. is, the, is the area of instructed second language acquisition, or to put it another way, how does instruction affect how languages are learned? Are languages learned exactly the same way when you have a teacher teaching you as they would be if you were out uh, in the community learning the language informally? What is the impact of instruction? And then beyond that, if we agree, and we do, Mm -hmm. that instruction helps you learn more successfully. And what is it about the instruction? What kind of instruction? What yeah, I mean, we're really interested in the nitty-gritty of, you know, what do teachers do? I mean, what do they actually do? What, what do learners do? Um, um, and how can that be described systematically um, in terms of the actual process of teaching and the process of learning and getting a good picture, a snapshot of what that's like, and then try and match that up with the effects on learning, you know, what, what, uh, what's the relationship between the two. I, I suppose there, there, there's a kind of sequence of things. Our own early research was in a context where structure-based teaching dominated. Mm -hmm. Then we saw the shift to communicative language teaching where meaning-based teaching dominated. And then Already in 1993, when the first edition came out, we were saying, you've got to have both. And, and we're looking now to do more research to find the balance. And mm -hmm. in, the, in the 20 years since the first edition came out, there has been a great deal of research on finding the balance. And I think that's what, what our research focused on over the years and, and yours continues to focus on. Mm -hmm. I guess the other change is this, and I don't, know, I don't know if we mentioned this already, but the other significant change that we were talking about earlier has to do with um, the in, just the increase in the variety of approaches to communicative approaches to instruction, right? I mean, it can be seen in communicative language teaching, uh, content-based language teaching, task-based language teaching, um, the variety of content-based language teaching programs that are out there, you know, CLIL programs in Europe, immersion programs in North America. There's a, a real variety of different types of programs that now emphasize meaning over an emphasis on form as the previous structure-based approaches did. So I think that's been quite a shift. That's been a big change in the field since we first wrote. Uh, since the first edition was written.